Hey everyone. Welcome, welcome. I don't know who's here. Um, it's been a lot of issues, but I did not give up. Shout out to Angela, Jasmina for helping me out. I really do appreciate that. And today's, let me make sure. Yes, it's fixed. It's fixed. Oh my goodness. Yay, I got it. Thank you, Angela. Shout out to you, you. I'm looking at my computer and you looking at me. How's everybody doing? Woo, I haven't been on here since December. That's okay. Hey, pretty eyes, Covington. It's okay. All right, we got three. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming back. All right, Let's see if a few people jump in. I'm just going to get started with giving you a review. Machine. I know most people get their review like after the first year, but I almost had it three years. And I'm glad I did because if I would have given a review the first year, it would have been completely different. Now that I have time, I've had time with my machine. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are not a subscriber, you have to wait one minute before you can um, comment, but you still may listen and be a part of this and hear about this machine. It is long overdue. Making some adjustments here. How's everybody doing? Who do I have today? I see seven people have joined the live. Seven people. All right, I'm going to get started. So, um, I'm going to do a review over my Wacoma um, 2001. So, the 2002 series, um, it has two heads. So, this is one head and it has 20 needles okay and 
Uh, let's see, what else? I'm going, I have a list, so I want to make sure I get everything. So my, I need, I want you to tell, oh, I want you to tell me. Look at me, I'm rusty, y'all. It's been a hot minute. Uh, let's see. So I use this anytime I am doing any type of orders. Uh, definitely use it weekly. I wouldn't say I use it daily. I do have times where I have used it daily, but um, you need to make sure you oil the machines, oil the machine, the needles, because this is not like the brother, the baby lock machines that I have. You have to make sure that these are oil because this is a commercial brand machine. And so, let's see. Um, it goes 1,000 stitches uh, per minute. And when they, this one says 1,000, it goes 1,000. When the brothers and the baby lock says 1,000, it goes 600. It is really, really fast. Um, I really do love it. You know what? It's 1,200. I'm sorry, 1,200. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. And this one is 1,200. 1200 stitches. I'm going to show you the hoop sizes. All the hoops came with it. Um, the largest, the largest hoop you can use is uh, 14 by 21. So I have this one and I'll show you my other one later, but it's their sash ring. So I have this one, there were these two. Um, this size, this is the biggest. They give you two of every one. So, or three of every one. Two of every one. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? These are the things that you have to slide in the shirt and then you have it pulled. Hey, Picture Me Crafting, thank you for joining. Um, and you have different sizes. They have hoop E. You're going to see them in millimeters. They're not, it's not going to be inches, but you can jump on Google and convert if you like. And I, what's interesting about the Recoma machines is that all the hoops that it comes with, they're a circle. They're a circle. And the other ones that we um, use on the other machines, they're a rectangle. So it's very different. I have used these. I will tell you now that I use the Mighty Hoops um, most, but I can say you get two of everything. I'm just gonna show you all of it. All right. And they do have like Hoop E, Hoop C, Hoop D. And I always try to use the hoop that's the closest to my, um, um, I always use the setting that's closest to my Mighty Hoop. So make sure that I won't, you know, hit it. And this is. So also Recoma sent out a, here's the other ones. Recoma sent me the 8 in one frame. It's kind of like the fast frames or the dirty frames. Like they send those out to me and I use those on different occasions, but I am a Mighty Hoop girl. And you also, this is for caps. And they'll give you, one, give you one extra so that you can set up one while the other one's going. So I think that's really cool. See, this is the one that goes to my uh, PE 800. So my PE 800, um, that's what it goes to, it's a rectangle circle. And then, like I said, Mighty Hoop. Also, down below, I have a code. If you call Mighty Hoop and say the Soul Crafty Teacher sent you, they'll give you free shipping. And who doesn't like free shipping? Everything helps. So, the hoops. And this one is probably comparable in size. So... That's what I use I get the mic. Thank you. I have 13 people watching. Welcome, welcome. Do you have any questions about hoops before 
I move on. I said this isn't extra. I have these in really, really good because I do not have a mighty hoop this big. That is sash free. Keep looking over there because that's where I have it, but get in a minute. You also may hear noise in the background. My DTG is on, so it'll circulate the ink from time to time. So if you hear it, that's what it is. Okay, so I didn't see any questions for hoops. All right, let's go to the next thing. Um, you're gonna use a USB drive. You're gonna use a USB, we'll get it, sorry. Um, so you're gonna use a USB drive when you save your files. This machine uses DST files, but don't worry because if you have software like um, in Brilliance Essentials, um, it doesn't matter if it's a PS. When you bring into the software, you can save as a DST. So don't feel like, oh no, I don't have a DST. Um, you know, I don't have the, the DST file. So it doesn't matter. You have this. Uh, it also, I can also connect, if I use their software, I can also send my uh, files um, uh, wirelessly. So I can send those and I don't have to worry about, but I just use the the USB drive because I have four machines and I need to make sure that um, I'm on it with this and not try and juggle two things. Okay. Uh, machine dimensions. I think it is a uh, 27 and it comes out about 27 inches and it comes out about 23, 24 and the weight is I believe 300 pounds. It will take three people to pick up, pick up this machine when it's time to sit on the stand. Like, it is heavy, okay? <laughs> when I moved this from uh, my home office, I'm glad I hired people because I made sure I got somebody that could help me move all the heavy machines. I'm like, I can do everything else, move the machines, and I want to make sure they do it right. I got a little scratch on my DTG, but it's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, but it works. And so that's what I'm happy about. And my Racoma came up here and it's it's amazing. So I'm happy to have that. So be careful when you're moving. Make sure you get people. If you're gonna move it or you're gonna to a different location or somewhere around your house, on well, if you have, you have the wheels and you're able to, or like upstairs. Unless, you have, unless you're a fancy and you have an elevator, uh, make sure you uh, you understand that three people, I would advise four, because my daughter, myself, and my husband, it was a struggle, I think. <laughs> so, but it's, an, it's a commercial machine. Like the other machines I can pick up, they're like 80 pounds. Um, and this machine, that it's a little different. So it is heavy. Uh, and those have some built-in designs and fonts for you to use, but I use in, in Brilliance Essentials, and I I use the ones that I upload to the to the software, right? Right. And I'm, now we're looking at performance. So stitch quality and consistency. All right. As long as you have this hoop correctly and a correct stabilizer. Um, the stitching comes out beautiful. <laughs> it comes out really, really just, I mean, it's nice. When I first started using the machine, I did have a hard time, um, like with the stitch quality and it's because of tension and really not knowing what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, so it's very different. I do want to make, I do want to say that because people are like, oh, I have an embroidery machine. And I can do this. I have baby lock. I have brother. Well, this is a little different because it's a whole new beast. You really have to make sure you attend those trainings that they provide for you that are free. Um, make sure that you are brushing up on anything you may need. Call support. 
you know, if you feel like you broke the machine or did something to it, but if you take good care of it, follow instructions, and you have to practice. Believe me, I've been on lives when I first got it, and I'm like, whoo, it's intimidating. It can be intimidating until you learn how to do it. That's why I'm so glad that I'm on here. It's like two and a half years since I uh, had this. I got it October 10th, 2021. Oops. So it's almost three years, not quite. Um, but the stitch quality is great. Use the right thread. I use exquisite thread and Madeira, but mostly exquisite th thread on here. So, and I just get those at the local sewing shop. Oop, they, they like to roll today. I'm like, I guess I need to juggle because this is not doing right. All right, so I have that thread. Um, it does come with a box of thread. Uh, it comes with uh, the bob, the magnetic bobbins that goes in the that goes in here. Uh, it also comes with like a stabilizer for hats, shirts, all those different things. So definitely comes with all the things that you need to get started right away. But make sure you practice. Um, Work in the machine. I also purchased this. This did like not come with a machine. This is an additional like two hundred dollars. I think I got from one eighty. It was a uh, Black Friday sale, and they always have really really good sales and um, get things at discounted price. You also can get the machine or any Recoma or embroidery machine from them or any the it really any machine like. I have the white toner printer or DTG you buy for them. You can do that. Uh, definitely can purchase different ones. And I also have a code, so you will be able to uh, put that code in or let them know when you speak to them and you do get a discount. So I think it's a few hundred dollars off. Uh, so check with them, but you do get a discount if you use the link. All right, so this I have, I need to get back to this. This is a laser. I just put this where the needle lines up so when I'm tracing it, I can see it. And it just, it's magnetic, so it simply sticks on here. I put it over here somewhere, and then I have the light, and it's fine. It'll move, and it'll track it, and I like it. Because I, got, I bought this because I was so used to using um, the laser from my other embroidery machines. And now I have one. And it's crazy because now I really don't use it because I'm used to it. But every once in a while, if I have something that's 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 a problem, then I'll use it. All right. So I went over that. Let me go over some other stuff. Like I said, 1,200. All right. So speed. I said about 1,200 stitches um, per minute. And it's done. It's quick. So something I like, I might put on the other machines. Oh, man. I can get that done like half of the time. Like they're still going. And I'm on the second thing with this. The second um, project or order with this. Like it is fast. Um, and if I have enough energy <laughs> after I do this, I will show you how it works. Um noise okay so when you first get it you're going to be like oh my gosh this is too loud um and that especially if you put on a higher setting that's with any really any embroidery machines but it's loud but it's not a type of sound that would like drive you crazy it's still soothing i actually like it because i can hear it going really really fast and then I, I know that it's about to be done. That's what I like. Go fast, get get the, get the work done, and then all of that. All right, so what else? Uh, so, and this is really good. Let me bring you close to the screen. I love the big screen. I know that they have come out with other screens um, for the newer, newer machines, but it's pretty much similar because all of this is all of this is touchscreen okay so i really love it this is their 
first model. I don't know if they had a second model out now, but I think they had the same machine with a different screen. But yeah. And another thing that was difficult about this uh, when I first started is that if you move, if you move the, um, if you move the design up and down, it goes the opposite way. So if I press up, it's gonna go like back. And if I press down, it's gonna go up. Um, and I'll just show you a process, show you the process of how I do this when I am selecting a design. So let me actually get a USB. And a USB has to go in. So we used to send it like this. The USB has to go in to the side. So let me, there we go. It's in. So now I have it in and I'm just going over this because it's a little different. You make sure you select your hoop size before you get started. Like I said, if you're using a mighty hoop, um, just make sure that you have chosen the, the size that's closest to your mighty hoop. So if I chose C, F, and then I hit check mark. All right, so I have that. And then I go to, oops. And then I go to the design. I go to my USB first. And then I select, if I was doing Jolly, I have to save it to a folder. And then I go to machine. I'm gonna go back, cause it's on the last page. And I'm gonna hit save. So you go back to it and then it's there. So that's pretty much what you do. Then you have to lock it. Well, let's look at the, let's look at how you do assign the colors. So if you have in brilliance, in brilliance essentials, um, it'll tell you all your steps and things because I believe this one shows only six colors on the screen um, and it might be a hundred. And so sometimes your design may come up not the color you you know you saw it or you saved it as and so you just assign color so one five six i'm just assigning the colors and then like okay so all of my steps okay i'm done with that for all my steps um let me also go let me see also here it they have am aa so i only use oops i only use um, AA a a just like it keeps going. You don't have any stops because you're not doing embroidery, but you use AM if you need to stop and, you know, cut and then trim and then put it back on the machine. So it'll stop after every color, but you have to actually hit, let's see, hold on. So you just, you can hit that and tell it what to do. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna hit up here, embroidery status, okay? And then I'm ready, I just press start. So that is something that is similar. The start um, to cut the thread, you have all of that. And I love this emergency stop. I do not have this emergency stop on none of my other machines. Like I had something that I was tracing and I thought I traced it right. And it was, it was about to hit the side, um, the other side and I hit that emergency stop button. I'm just going to hit it. It shuts it down. Nothing moves. You don't hear a sound, nothing moves. And then you have to hold it to turn it back on. So that prevents you from hurting yourself and also prevents you um, from stopping. So, like I said, um, I will review. Oops. Oops. All right. So, my MT 2001 series, um, my review parts work in the panel. It does take some time because they it does not have like, um, it's not in inches, it's in millimeters. So, when you are going, to select, pay attention, go to Google, get your little calculator and divide it into the number of inches, 
however you need to do to like um, to break it down so that you understand it and if you want to you can make a little little sign I had that at first like okay well this means this amount of inches and so I'm like oh this six by six is really a 120 by 180 uh, millimeters and so they have that here and it can be tricky if you are using the hoops um, so it doesn't matter what you do always trace your designs and definitely can be tricky um, especially when you're doing something that's um, circular so make sure you are still doing those designs and another thing that I like a lot about this machine too of course you have I'm looking for my trace and it just traces okay so it has that feature doesn't matter if you're using the hoops like use that feature okay and then what I also just I mean absolutely love it would trace the design outline so it'll it would trace the space that you need to work in but it will also trace the design outline so if it, the main one will go like this, box it, and then the trace outline would go directly around it, like exact measurement. Um, so it makes that noise when it's doing it. And then when it's finished, I'm gonna give it a minute, it's a little loud. This is very intricate. This little jolly design. Okay, then you hit okay, and then boom, you press start. And obviously I'm not gonna press start because I don't have anything on there. Um, so let's keep going. Here we go, here we go. We went to noise level, um, the interface. So wear and tear, I would tell you my machine has continue to work well um if i i had a couple issues but it was user error and not machine error so i was able to call support and support was able to help me and I, support is available um seven days a week and i believe from 7 a.m to 7 p.m if you already have this machine um feel free to you know if that's not correct to let me know it's a lot of information i'm trying to remember right now all right so and you do your own maintenance they give you a whole maintenance kit for you to do your own maintenance you go through and you have to oil and and i'm going to show you the little oil that i use Ooh, excuse me. i'm going to show you the oil that i use so i use like regular oil I used so this is for the bars so if I hit take it out of embroidery if I go here and I hit four oops sorry let's hit 20 then it goes all the way over I grease the bars and that the the color of this may look yucky um but you gotta do what you gotta do and so it actually comes out here it is. This does not come with your machine, but this was recommended. So I was able to get this uh, and then regular oil. So let's talk about oil. So let's talk about the maintenance really quick. And also, let me go back to one. How do you keep your machine up and running? continuously all right well one you need to oil it every eight hours okay so you have i use my little drop pin it's like a little oil drop pin i go each side so i go each on each side behind sorry trying to directionally challenge and there are holes behind here that you will uh, put a drop of oil in every week so that's every week when you um, are beginning to work you need just one drop hope you all can see me 
All right. So when you begin to work, you just need that one drop over here. Okay, so and then you put it in, like I said, next eight hours, and then you will take it out. All right. And then the bars, you need to grease those once a month. And if you're like, oh my gosh, that's a lot to remember. They actually have it already on here. So it says once a week, four to six hours, you use the uh, bash oil, well, four to six hours, but I do it every eight. Usually I don't run it eight hours straight. So um, you would use the oil once a week, like your oil, those bars, and then, uh, it says once a week, lubricating oil or butter. We're not going to put butter in the machine, especially how processed the butter is now. You have all kinds of things in that or artificial. So I used the super white grease. It's like 10 bucks on Amazon. It really wasn't that expensive. And I do that. And I really don't mess with the tension, um, you know, unless I have to. Um, I feel like it's too tight. I will mess with the tension. And these might look scary, but really they're not like hard to put together. Like if this comes out, this is what I do. Here's my secret. If I accidentally pull a thread all the way out, I have a little hook. I just tie it on that little, that little hook. So well, actually it's a long hook. And then I take it and put it, let me find one that came all the way out. Uh-oh. I just drop it in there with drop a needle and I pull it out at the end and then snap that back on here and then snap that back on there. But yeah, you pull it through here, um, take it, wrap around, comes down through there and you'll see the steps. It'll guide you. So it might look scary, but it really isn't. Well, after a while, because I was terrified of, like, oh my gosh, I pulled the thread all the way out. How am I going to do this? And very simple. It's just like you do your other machines if you do have them. And if you don't have them, um, like I said, pull it through the hole here. It comes down. And then there. So 20 needles. And also every, every three weeks... Uh, every three weeks, I do change my needle. So that can be an expense, um, but it's very cheap on Amazon. I'm like, I'm trying to think of the prices, but I bought them in bulk. Hey, Marissa, happy Sunday. And so, yeah, bought them in bulk. So now that I have that, let's keep going. Um, there is a learning curve. <laughs> like I said, you cannot just like get out the box and get started. I mean, some people got it like that, but I do not. So there's a learning curve. Like I said, even the button is like, this is up, this is down. I have to remember this is down, this is up. And this is right, this is left. Like it's like flipped. Everything is flipped. Um, so that's, that's one thing. So user friendliness, I would say as far as it being user friendly, um, after, I feel like after you learn, it's like, it's scary because it's big. Like, oh my gosh, this machine is huge. But really, uh, it's huge, but you can actually do it. You can do it. Um, so I wouldn't say necessarily like, like it was so hard that it wasn't user-friendly. It is user-friendly, especially with the buttons. You just have to get used to it. Um, tutorials. Ah. Uh, Thank you. Um, and tutorials, I go to customer.recoma.com and they already have it set up. Say, I like, I can't get this. I, I can't thread this. Boom, they have a tutorial on that. And they also have like a thousand tutorials on Recoma TV on um, YouTube. And so anything I need help with, if that video doesn't help me in a portal, Guess what? I can call Racoma. I just call them. Call them. You get that custom customer support. Um. So yes, and then also too, there's like the built-in guide as well in here. 
So software and connectivity. Yeah, so I said it's like any software that you use for embroidery. So I use uh, Embrilliance Essentials. I do have enthusiasts. They have all the way up to all the way up to like stitch level one. But I use mainly what I need um, to use. It's just Embrilliance Essentials. So, and you just save it. DST. You know the other ones are PES. DST. So you go in, you will save it as DST, and it doesn't matter if you upload a file that says PES, because if you go in that software, you can change it to dot anything. I know they have several things in there, so keep that in mind. All right, let's see. Talked a little bit about transferring designs to the machine, USB, or if you're using their software, it'll connect directly and um, without you don't have to you don't have to save it on a jump drive it will connect wirelessly so okay let's see updates and so updates on the machine um i know they do have software and things you can go in probably and like not probably but you can go in and update um you know if you need any parts they are uh very affordable but they give you a lot of extra parts for things that you know you could possibly um you know that could be damaged or broken or anything like that so you have because you do your own maintenance you know make sure you know you get it and you have that warranty and anytime you buy some have that warranty um spelled out for you in writing like what is the warranty and what does it include says, okay, now we're on accessories and attachments, quality and utility of included hoops. So the hoops work fine. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm a mighty hoop girl. I'm a mighty hoop girl. Again, free shipping. Use so crafty. Um, but I'm a mighty hoop girl. And I, I guess I've used these huge hoops. And I'm glad I have one that size because I do not have... Uh, a hoop, a mighty hoop that wide. I don't even think they sell. If they do, it's a shout out to Mighty Hoop for sending me some so that I'm able um, to use it and try it out. And with the adjustments, because right now you probably can see here we have it right here where we put our hoop. So the little hoop holder, um, you have to adjust. And I got a uh, what you call it, a little socket? I don't know. Some tool, my husband knows the name of it. Um, and so you just like take these off and adjust it to where you're supposed to be. There are little, little indentions in it, so it'll help you line up like five on this side. Then I put it five on this side, so that way you are um, in there correctly. When I first got this, I'm like, oh my goodness, I just have to take this off and put this on for my you know my other machines but i like it because it does allow me to have like be able to embroider larger things and it's been fun um just amazing like what this machine can do my machine also came with a table it is huge just know it comes out like this and like probably like up to here um probably like 12 or about 18 inches out, 12, 18, 18 inches out. And then it is like pretty wide, probably go 10 inches to 12 inches on this side. And of course the other side. So it's cool. And now I see my sash frame. I'm going to go get it. You definitely can tell I love pink. The walls are pink, my nails are pink. My Stanley is pink. All right, so here's the sash ring that you can put on there. I've seen um, 
one of the YouTubers use it for blankets. Oh, uh, thank you, Adrian. So thank you, Adrian. And it, other person that said, thank you for sharing. Is it, how do you pronounce it? Etique? Menon? So, Adrian Henry, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, please keep watching. I'm trying to make sure I have lots of videos for you all to see. Uh, and I'm just gonna give you, I'm gonna take a minute to give you a quick update. Cause a lot of you like, where have I been? I, I've been consistent. And then uh, beginning of this year, I had to have some, I took some time off from work cause I had a, uh, medical procedure and I had to recover from that and uh, now I'm feeling good it's been life-changing in a way that I feel absolutely great it, it changed my life I feel like I can do anything I don't have any restrictions so y'all I'm still here I'm not going anywhere I'm still here so I just want to give you that update um, to let you know sash frame and these come off Lay this down. This is perfect for like if you're doing a blanket. I don't know how to take this off, especially when I'm live. I forget everything, don't we? Okay. So, we have those. Let's see. There are optional accessories. Like I said, I have the 18. I say 18. <laughs> I have the 8 in 1, not the 18 in 1. That might be somewhere. Somebody might sell that but eight and one did not come with um the machine that was something separate uh i don't i need to look at the updated price because i did not look at the updated price on that but i know it shouldn't be like more than 200 and something um but again use my code because you still can get a discount and uh availability i mean it's available um they have a ready to ship. So when you get the machine, I believe there's also, to get the machine, you also have to pay a, a shipping cost. And a lot of times they have it for free. And you can check on their website too to see when it's free. And it, you don't have to wait like to the end of the year. They'll say, purchase this and you get this for free shipping, which is great because it saves you a lot of money, especially when you ship in. Um, a machine this size, or you get in a Recoma 10 needle, the EM um, 1010, and um, so the last time I looked at the pricing, I know the EM 1010 is like uh, 10,000. It might have gone up. Like it's been a minute, and I didn't look at it for my video because. Um, well, guess what? I should have. There's no reason. I didn't do it. And so I always say with the machines, you you pay $1,000 per needle. Um, and they may have this between 17 and 19, but I'm not sure. But I know like the 15 needle is 15,000. The 10 needle is 10,000. So it's about 1,000 per needle. And um, if you get two heads, the additional cost is really not that high. Um, I would love to have two heads, but a two head one. So you have one, one, and then you have one screen and you only can operate, you know, one project at a time, even if you have multiple heads. Um, it says compatible third party accessories. So third party accessories will be like my hoops and the uh, Mighty Hoops that Recoma made, but the little, let me show you. Like this is a sleeve and this one fits for my Recoma. So they have a little special cut for each design. So you will use that. Um, let's see, I say from Recoma from Mighty Hoops. <laughs> My hoops and I think actually you can go through the Recoma's website and go to my and buy some mighty hoop hoops but I would say the best way is to go um, to mighty hoop 
Facebook.com. And one thing I really love about them, um, I love that it when you order something, they'll call and verify to make sure you didn't accidentally order something or you have the right one that's compatible with your machine. So shout out to you, because guess what? I did it one time and they're like, mm, actually it's this. And like, got it shipped for free and all those other things. So mainly, you just have to change the little size of the mighty hoop. Okay, so went over costs. Uh, so I'm gonna, Summarize my the things that I think there are strengths and weaknesses of a machine. <sighs> Something that I like is that machine has 20 needles, right? Like I love it that it has 20 needles. Um, a con, I wouldn't necessarily say a con. It's just you have to get used to um, taking care of you know more needles, but. I mean, if you just, if I'm dropping the drops, I'm not even thinking about, oh man, it's 10 more. I'm just unconsciously like thinking about that. So you do have more needles and more needles that you have to purchase, um, but you can get them at a really good price, Amazon. I'll link those down below. Um, also, uh, you have to take time learning the screen because it is completely different than your baby lock or your um, brother machine. Okay, so very different from that. Add some things that like are similar, but this one is, you do have to learn it. And if you don't know how to um, work your panel or use your panel, I go to customer.recoma.com. I have that account that's uh, created specifically for me and I have all those videos um, and of course tech support, but you do have to learn a new kind of interface. Uh, it has the same concept, but you will have to learn a new one. And so, um, also another thing would be, it is heavy. Keep that in mind. It's about 300 pounds. It's probably like 350, to be honest. Um, it will take three or four people to pick it up, but you only pick it up one time and then you put it, um, you put it on the stand, that's it. So one time on the stand, unless you're moving. And if you're moving, I would advise you to get movers to actually move your machines because um, you want somebody to know what they're doing. I, I had two guys that moved it, but they had this little special thing that they hooked on the machine and it was able to grab, like it was amazing. I'm like, your back hurt, right? It's 350. And they have something that was designed to hold that. So I'm very glad because this had to go, has to go, um, was it sidewalk, uh, on the elevator, and then uh, down the hall, down the hall, you know, into my office. And so make sure you know about the weight. Um, I really like the machine. It's, it's definitely a learning curve when you first start. Um, it's not like get on and got it, but with proper training and proper practice, you'll get it. Okay, so it's still embroiders like the other machines embroider, except it's faster and I never have to change colors. So that's another thing that I like. I do not have to change um, the colors on the machine because I have every single color up, he up here. Now I do have uh, special needles for like jersey mittens and certain things like that. Um, but I really don't use them. I just use my, was a 7511. I mean, I have those other ones I could use, but my 7511 my needles work for really everything. Um, I think, it, like I said, I've only changed it out. I only changed it out one time for the um, jersey knit, but I did the second one without it and it was no problem. Uh, I've been making some really cute things. Uh, I've been very busy as well, too. So I've been healing and recovering, but I also have been very business, very, very business, very busy. Y'all, look, I was working on that live for like two hours, three hours, but I'm here. I was determined because I know I wanted to share this about this machine 
Um, you see it in my videos. I talk about it briefly, but I want you to know how I feel, my honest review. Um, I've been through all the different things um, uh, about the machine, but just looking at that, those pros and cons, that's important, okay? Uh, this one, as far as cost, is a little bit higher than the other ones. Um, and for a reason, because it's 20, 20 needles. Yes, I have made hats. Um, I have a video where I made a hat, um, like I embroidered a hat on, with this machine. Yes, ma'am. Everybody's afraid of hats. Guess what? Me too. Um, but because I had embroidered hats on my other machine, it's pretty much the same setup. Um, so it could be it could be scary and intimidating, but I have done lots of hats. Um, also, too, like I said, I was talking about price. Um, you can start with the EM ten ten. It has ten needles. It works great. Uh, really great home embroidery machine. But once you hit that 15, like the, was it MT 1501? And this is the MT 201, 2001. Those numbers can be, like look down below, those numbers should be correct down there. Um, those are more commercial. Well, they are commercial embroidery machines. Like big businesses, comp, big businesses, uh, different companies, um, so I do a lot. I've been doing a lot of things for schools and, um, uh, I mean, I've done towels. I mean, I've done it really, I've done everything on here. And the first time doing a type, different type of, um, design on something that I'm not familiar with, uh, it's scary. Okay. So you're like, Ooh, I don't to do this. But you know, once you hit that second one, you're good. And even if you have one machine, I might have several machines, but what is so great about this machine is that you don't have to wait as long as you would if you had a home base um, embroidery, embroidery machine. Because with this one, like I said, something that will usually take you 30, 45 minutes may take, will take you 15, 20. Like it is fast. Um, so, that's what I really love. Like you have one, it's like, oh, it's gonna take forever, but not on this. I have a question, let's see. Uh, Marissa says she loves doing hats and nail visors. Um, they were a learning curve, but you, but she, she got it. Everything's a learning curve at first, especially if it's brand spanking new to you. Um, Unless you get the same machine over and over, which which I wish I, not wish, maybe in the future. I do wish I had another one of these because these machines are fast as you know what. Um, any other cons? Like I said, it's, the cons is just, it's heavy. You will have to learn how to use it. Um, that's pretty it pretty much it like I would say like everything else is positive the it threads it looks scary but actually it threads pretty well oh it's scary but go to your customer portal and get on there watch that video or go to Recoma TV and watch the video and um I love the big screen. I know the older Ricoma machines or the 1501 machines, when I got this in 2021, um, they're a little smaller. But now I think they're even bigger than this and brighter and better. Um, so, but this one is, I'm so happy with what I have. So um, it's very clear. And there's lights and then there's additional light too. So if I'm trying to thread a needle, um, it does not have an automatic uh, threader. So you go through and hook it and you have to put it in. There's tools for that. Um, there's tools that you can use for that, but it gets, it's easy. And then you have a different light. At first I was like, oh man, I have to thread it myself. Take it, trim it, put it in there and just hook it and then it'll pull it back. Now I will do that. It will not put it in there for you. 
And that's okay. Like I said, learning curve, something you might have to get used to. Let me check the question. What bobbins do I use? Oh, oh where are the name of my bobbins? I get them off Amazon. They start with the M. Somebody help me out. And Adrian, Adrian, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. They're magnetic bobbins. I don't, I can't think of the company, but I would be honest, like I just use any, any I find on um, Amazon that are pretty cheap. So, magnetic bobbins. That way I don't have to worry about bobbin, like try to adjust it and use that little measurement tool, like pop this in there, sticks to it and you're done. And I have black and white bobbin. Excuse the crazy thread, but I just take all of my bobbin and put it in here. And this thread is actually from a project. I just decided to sit it in here so it ends on the floor. Okay, and so I just have a basket so I can grab it easily um, if I need it. And yeah, I'm using the Recoma machine. Once you get about this much to this much thread, it, it will stop. So, so you won't run out of thread. It'll stop and like, oh, I'm out of thread and you might see this, it, it will stop. But guess what? I say these, I can use these with my other machines. So they are not trash. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Does come with a stand. It has crazy amount of embroidery hoops. Uh, I I love this feature. I've also almost hurt myself. Let's let's be honest. I've I probably used that a few times and had something trying to trace it and because I didn't know what I was doing, but I know what I'm doing now. It takes time. And I would say it will take you a little few months. Like, I feel like I'm a person that I learned something very quickly. But it was different. It was adjustment. I think the look of it slowed me down because it was intimidating. Um, but it has changed my life, changed my business. I'm able to do so much, so much more than eight and a half. Was it eight and a half by thirteen on the um, home embroidery, embroidery machines? This one allows me to do like big projects. And like I said, that speed, that time is money. That speed is everything. Um, so I think I'm, I guess I'm gonna stop here and see if you have questions now. Don't leave, but you can type in the chat um, any questions you might have about the machine. Like I said, if you use the code so crafty teacher um, you will get a discounted price for your machine and also mighty hoops you will also get free shipping if you mention a so crafty teacher <laughs> marissa said the emergency button is our friend for real yes this is smart now the machines the other machines they're like they're a stop they will stop like oh something's going on it will stop invalid or something it'll say and it stops this button you all saw that it shut the whole thing down like let me save your life really quick because if you know what you're doing especially when you get started you're like oops i just hit the side of a hoop you don't want that you see it coming pop shut it down so i do like that um what questions do you have for me about the machine? I know when I first got the ma machine, I kind of showed you where things in box. That was in 2021. Um, this is 2024. Can I believe I had, I've had this machine since 2021. Y'all, December 26, I've had my channel for four years. And I know there's been gaps in here and there, but I am so thankful that uh, my OG people have stuck around and new subscribers have subscribed. I appreciate the love and support. Um, you know, life throws you curveballs and sometimes you just got to roll with it instead of fight against it. And, uh, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. So I probably have a lot of, uh, you know, live videos. 
um, or I may record a live format and put it on here because I'm telling you, if you edit videos, it takes time. Sometimes it takes you longer to edit videos than it's to record the videos. Um, so I will have like more short form content um, and <laughs> I'm gonna utilize the lives um, to share the things that I'm doing. I do have another video coming out uh, where you will see me use my recombinant machine. But if you go back, and I'll link that playlist, if you go back, you will see me using uh, this machine. It is mwah, bonito. Like, it is great. Um, but I also want to show you a, a video that I created. I had to work on these company shirts. Um, and they came out really, really cute. And what I like about it is that they had this competition because um, they had like a retreat. So they had this competition where, you know, whoever draws the best design and people vote for you, like you win. It came out so cool. Like the whole staff was represented on there and they little outlines, but it was certain features and things to let you know, like, oh, it represents, you know, like I can see the hair. You might not see the face, the nose, the mouth. Like, I know who you are. And I am so grateful because there's another business um, that does uh, window cleaning. Shout out to Camelot Window Cleaning or Camelot Enterprises. They um, reached out to me and was like, hey, can you do these shirts um, for a retreat? So I did kids, I did kids, I did adults, I did all different sizes. And it was military, Heather, military green or whatever combination you would like to say. And it's pretty cool because I'm showing you my process and like if, and if I like, not if, I, I know my brain is going down, but I'm thank you for being here and being patient with me. Cause I talk fast, so I have to slow down. Um, But yeah, they, they used the, I used the Heather Military Green. Um, I used my, is it 14? 14 by 16 um, for every single shirt. So that will be in my next video and I can't wait to show you that. I also have a um, another review. I have like four videos that I have recorded. Um, I just have to edit them. And sometimes it's fun to edit. And if you have a ton of footage, um, it is not. So, but thank you so much. And I also plan to add other videos just like, like, they had my life because you know I am a I'm an educator, um, and I run my small business, and I'm so very thankful that I have opportunity to do this, and to be in this space so that I can grow. I don't I love that I can record a video and I don't have to wait for everybody to stop talking, or the dogs to start barking. Like just, I can record and it is complete silence. Um, I also plan to do uh, another video, well not another video, because guess what, you don't know about this. I also sew, um, so I have a, I do projector uh, sewing. Like you cut everything, you just shine it down with using your projector and uh, I just cut the pattern like that. So no more paper, so paperless cutting, sewing, like y'all, it is life changing. Um, I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? And shout out to Ellie and Mac. Um, they're the ones that really just um, enhance the things that I do, like as far, you know, as far as sewing, things like that. Um, but they have all kinds of patterns and all types of videos. They have tutorials for every single pattern that they have. I have a link. Um, please use my link. I think you may get a discount, but if not, Please support and use that link. Ellie and Mac is the bomb. If you don't know how to sew, go to them. Go to their website. Or you can go to them if it's possible. And go learn how uh, to sew. Like, sewing, like, I haven't really made a lot of things except, like, scrunchies for other people. But I have made um, clothes. I, did, I think I have a video. I have a lot of videos recorded. Uh, but, unfortunately, I have not had the time to uh, edit. Um, I had to take care of myself 
got to take care of yourself. Um, and by me taking care of myself, I'm able to really make uh, more videos and content for you all. So you might see some content like, hey, I really like this format. Um, or you might see content like, I don't know, this kind of flows with your videos and things that you're doing. So um, leave your, you know, if you have thoughts or you, anything you would like to express, like leave it in the comments, but please be kind, you know, so delivering this free 99, that's me, <laughs> free 99 info to all of you and all the people out there in the world. Um, so please be kind because it takes a lot of time and people are like, oh, well, I can say this because you make this make I'm like, be kind. Believe me, I'm doing this from my heart. And, you know, I do want you to know about the machine. I do want you to be able to um, see how it works, but I'm an educator first. So I'm going to educate you on different things. So I really appreciate you all just being here. I don't care if it was five, one, I would have kept going because this information is so valuable um, and I have to share it. Like why keep it to myself? Knowledge is power. So I want you to be empowered, start your own business, get the right machine and equipment, um, hear about the pros and the cons and, you know, really wanted to be uh, honest with you all and let you know, you know, the beginning struggles but also the blessings um, that I've gotten just doing this machine and being able to do certain things or, to, or get additional things for my business because I want to grow. Um, and I appreciate you. Let's look. Let's see if we have any questions. Uh, no, we have some comments. Hey, K, 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 the hustle queen. Girl, where have you been? It's been a hot minute. I hope you're doing well. Um, you know, I can't talk because it's been a hot minute for me too. But thank you for showing love. She's my, she's an OG too. Way back when in 2020. So I appreciate you for coming back and saying hello. Um, just your presence. Your presence is, it's enough. It's enough. I thank you for that. Aw, all my love <laughs> to you, Marissa. That's so sweet. Um, yeah, I'm just thankful. And let me know if you have any questions. I am, I'm looking. I have on contacts and I'm still, oh, something big that really happened. <sighs> Y'all, I turned 40. I'm 40. I mean, like April 2nd, I turned 40 years old that, but you know, like time, like your age is just like a, and time is like a construct. So, and I don't like, oh my gosh, I'm 40. I feel old. I was dreading it at first, but after I recovered from like my surgery and I was healed, um, I was so thankful just to be alive and feel good. Um, all those things that um, I, you know, I was taking for granted. Uh, so, very thankful just to be here and, you know, 40, trying to be, you know, look great, still 40. Okay, I've been good. I've just been uh, really working on, you know, my health and um, I, I feel good now, like, after having... Uh, my procedure and recovering like it, it was life-changing so um, I'm good just really staying thankful uh, for life and all the different things uh, so yeah I'm good thank you for asking I appreciate that oh no okay said for turning 40 changes you uh, uh. That's nice. Nice to know. Except the next comment says 40 is young. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank the man up above that I do I do not look like, you know, what life has put me through. So very thankful. 
Sorry, right, I'm still holding strong. No wrinkles, y'all. Still holding strong. Very thankful for that. Oh, Adrian Henry said, what stabilizer do I use for shirts? I use cutaway. There's two types of cutaway. So you have to like the little poly mesh cutaway. I use that, but if I use this, I also use the tearaway just so that I can have um, their stability. Especially if it's a thin garment, I use this with tearaway. So you can either use this one. I like this because it's not as thick and puffy. I like, I really don't buy these anymore, but guess what? I'm gonna use them because I pay for them. Um, so I have this and then I and this one. Tearaway, I would say I do use exclusively like on uh, sweatshirts because they're so thick. So definitely use that. And then I have um, the tearaway for hats. Some people like the cutaway. I'm not trying to get all the way into the hat and you know, like I'm not doing that. So just too much. And like I said, if you can use tear, if you use tearaway, you know, to each his own, but I use, um, if you use cutaway, I use tearaway, so. Yes. Hey, Nina, Stitch and Style. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate you all. Miss Abby, so yeah. My sister, she said, she said, what she said? You see the world differently once you turn 40. You do. And you also are like able to make decisions um, you know, based on what you think, not what other people think or what you should do, like, and you have more confidence, like, some people will turn my age and like, oh, 40, everything's gone, giving up, don't give up, um, you still gotta live, you know, the world doesn't stop, and, you know, neither should you, but I don't feel old, um, like I said, thank goodness I don't feel like my age, um, my students keep me young. Pink keeps me young and happy. So I can say I'm thankful for that. Have you all bought any new machines lately? I mean, if not, of course, for karma. But have you all bought any new machines, big or small? Like, uh, hey, Miss Linda Gray. Oh my goodness, Miss Linda Gray is an OG too. Um, anybody about anything new? I would love to hear about what you have purchased. I am staying here like 10 more minutes just to catch up with my new subbies and my crafty scholars. So if you hear me say, ciao, crafty scholars at the end of the video, um, crafty scholars. So I'm the so crafty teacher. And you're a scholar. I call my students scholars. So guess what? You're a crafty scholar. Yes, I'm so happy to just to be here and chat with you all. Um, and if you missed the beginning of the live, go back after, I guess after it uh, uploads, go back and watch all the different parts. I'm going to try to do chapters. Maybe we can do it. Maybe they can do it. Maybe they can do it for me. Because a lot of things I have, I go to and I'm like, I didn't make a chapter for that. I'm like, shout out to YouTube for making it easier. Um, and then probably I have some things trimmed and uh, so that you can go back and refer to the video because I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. Like, I'm going to stop singing. Was it, uh, no, who is that? Tim McGraw. Hey, I live in Nashville, so. I mean, my daughter's named after a country music singer. So. Oh, I've missed you too, Linda Gray. Um, I missed the whole crew. So a lot of people came in like December to January 2020 and 2021. January K 
came in as a group. And so I'm just thankful for all the new people because guess what? I only had uh, just a little bit of subscribers and that came from my old videos. So I'm talking about them, but I'm, now I'm saying don't go watch them. But unless you're a teacher, you need to use it. Um, that was my first video, the first video I ever posted. Um, it went viral and that was like 12, 13 years ago. So going viral, like it was like over a couple of days, I hit like a hundred thousand. It was insane. Um, but I, I just did it and made it with my students. It was fun, very basic, but something that they, they can remember they were a part of. Um, what else I was going to share with you all? Um, I think that's it for me. Life has been good. Oh, my dog, my daughter is, uh, she's a, she's in Sigma Gamma Rho. Shout out to her. Um, she's a part of that sorority. They're all about helping women and children live like their best life, a lot of community service. Um, great organization and even through the process they stay respectful to all the people who are pledging so shout out to them for making decisions um, that are that my daughter re remember for rest of life versus be traumatized by because I know some other sororities they they do not um, think about the ind individual um, so I'm glad they did that. What else? I'm just looking, checking, make sure I didn't miss anyone. Um, so she's doing well. Can't believe in like three weeks. I mean, she'll be done with school April 26. Y'all, I was doing this while she was in school. I think she was a sophomore. She was about to be a junior, about to be a junior and going to school to be a nurse. I'm very, very, very proud of her. I always let her know, my girl, my greatest gift. And uh, I'm here to support her. My husband and I, we both are here to support her every step of the way. So I am so very thankful um, to be a part of her journey and get to see her like grow and be an adult. I mean, she finally turned 18. Um, she's still 18. But, um, the blessing, I always let her know, like, be thankful for your blessings and these things you're able to do then, or or are you able to be a part of or experience, because um, not everybody get that. And, you know, a lot of these things are a privilege and you've earned that privilege to do certain things. So make sure you know, um, make sure you know, like, actually, well, know that you're, you're great, be grateful. Just know to be grateful. Know that you need to have grace and also humble yourself. Don't like, oh, I have this. I can do that. Like, humble yourselves. Like, you've been blessed with something. Don't throw it in somebody's face. Or, I have this because uh, my Angelo said said it best. It's a, it says, like, one, to those people who are really, you know, out there being humble and showing um, people kindness and love and just all those things that have been brought to, that they've discovered in their life and they want to share. But um, and then also you see people that are working hard, like, you know, people like, oh my gosh, you have this and you have that. And she, like I said, Maya Angelou said best, she said, don't, um, don't judge my glory if, because you don't know my story. And I think it was in a point that was, or like a little writing, it was called Haters. Um, you need to read that. That is so good. So it's called Haters. And she kind of goes through all the different things that she's been through throughout her life. Uh, like my favorite poet, um, along with Emily Dickinson um, and Shel Silverstein. Those three people uh, all has encouraged my journey, so... But yeah, it's good. Like you, you don't understand. You might not understand my glory because you don't know my story. Like everybody has a story, and definitely did not get to where I am, 
I will continue to grow by accident or favor. Um, worked hard, struggled through things. So anyway, I just want to share that because that's been on my heart and I'm so very thankful for you and appreciate you. Uh, anybody have any more questions? I'm staying on for three more minutes. All right, keep looking. One of my favorite authors. Absolutely. She tells the truth. My angel, she suffered through a lot. She started writing when she was 31 years old. Um, I mean, she had a really hard life, not just the upbringing, but as an adult, she struggled as well. And man, it changed her life when she started writing and sharing. Um, and then her writings really helped people. Like, if you down or you need some support, like, go read her poems. Like, they are the best. They're so up uplifting and so honest. Um, raw and real about life struggles and the things you need to focus on when you are struggling. So she's an amazing, amazing um, author, poet, writer, director, actor. She's done a little bit of everything. Um, and, you know, she passed, I think, 2000. I have to look. 2009, 2014. I think I'm getting her and Rosa Parks dates. Uh, mixed up, but great people, great people. All right. Thank you for coming back after my 75 different lives. I try to do and shout out again to Angela Jasmina. If you go to Angela, AngelaJasmina.com and shop, she has some um, wonderful shirts and she has her own line. So go shop, check her out. Um, but and most importantly, go check out her channel. She has videos on embroidery and um, lots of different things. So she's very skilled, very talented. Um, we're talking about business and how to get started. So definitely uh, go to Angela Jasmina on YouTube and go to her website. Uh, let's support each other, right? Right? All right. You have a blessed evening and ciao. Crafty scholars. Bye. Okay, I don't know how to end this, so there it is. Ooh.